It is here at last, Milan's Red Letter Day, Derby Day, a grand tradition since 1908 involving two of the most storied clubs in the entire world. There's so little to separate the teams in terms of prestige, so expect this to be nothing less than a day of storm and tempest, heady ambition and sharp partisanship. Really is quite a sight to behold this, it feels like a big game, it looks like a big game. Mind you, they all do at this ground. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. We have already started here. Barella gets flagged offside. Can he put it away? And Inter go in front. Terrible error, duly punished. The goal scorer for Inter after 15 minutes is number 10, Lautaro Martinez. They have what they wanted, the first breakthrough. Well, the roof's just about stayed on, but the crowd level has gone up a notch or ten. They want to be quick here, it's breakaway time. Well, that's beautifully weighted. Barella. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. It's a quick one. Turan. Martinez! He scores! A quite incredible spell. They are flying. And now he has two. The goal scorer for Inter. So that's two and now without reply. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. The counter-attack is on here for Inter. Well, a glitch with the rangefinder there, and evident annoyance. Ah, oh, he made it look a bit predictable. Now it's Turan. Milan are really in a position where patience and prudence will serve them best. Time's on their side. Damian. And that's been drilled in. Mukatari. And he was quick to react. Interesting ball. Now it's Pulisic. And that interception was most necessary little doubt who they'll be aiming at here well he is someone you can count on to get his head to it one way or another peter pulisic who's short Usa! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Mukatari. Tomori gets over and intercepts. Musa. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Pavar. And Bastoni. Two added minutes has been indicated. 
Now it's Martinez. Well, they've got it again. And the first 45 minutes are up. How would you review the first half? Yeah, chins have dropped, heads are down, and half-time couldn't have come at a better time. Well, it is a game with plenty at stake, and that does show highly competitive, combative, confrontational. It is what you would expect from a game of this magnitude. Here we go again, then. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Ben Asser. And that's been intercepted. Musa. Reinders. Now it's Pulisic. He is through here. They've managed to get it away. Engages and forces him off the ball. Will play through for the white man. Can he finish? Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper. And it's been given away. Real chance! No, he's missed it. The for this match was 72,306. Now it's Tura. Well, that's been cut out, well played. Musa. It's a really well-measured ball. That is ended up in no-man's land. Well, that is not the best ball, and he offers an apologetic look. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Musa. Kalulu. Milan couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Mukitarian. Brilliantly cut out. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalize on now. A Serbi calmly anticipates. Into the last quarter of an hour. Now it's Tura. Gently done. Demarc. There's the hit! And the follow-up! Musa. And there's his chance to lead the counter. No, no way through there. Milan are certainly now looking like a sorry lot. They haven't got a proper defence, or attack, for that matter. Pulisic unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Pavar Gets a good foot in there. Martinez. Nicely weighted ball. Turan. Big chance! The whistle is gone, and it is all over. Milan perhaps ended up out of ideas and out of steam. Some warm applause and acknowledgement of the effort put in by the players, but that does not hide the overall disappointment. The end of the game. Quick announcement. Reflections? Yeah, well, I've been on the losing side in games like this, and I can tell you it really does hurt. It's, it's about the fans, and when you let them down, it hurts that bit more. I mean, you can do all the right preparations and still...
Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. It is a true heavyweight clash. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And as you can see, we've already started here. Now then, the ball's come loose. Shapes to shoot! Goal! Bayern Munich! And that will surely go down as one of the easiest goals he could ever score. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Rafinha. And it's Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Now it's Koreczka. Barcelona are really in a position where patience and prudence will serve them best. Time's on their side. It's a good foot in there. Rafinha. Testegen. Has a look and has a go. It's in! A quite incredible spell, they are flying. Yeah, they were made to pay for not moving the ball smartly enough through a very strong pressing wave. Bayern Munich take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. De Ligt. Muller. Rafinha, it's a good run down the left-hand side. Dyer calmly anticipates. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Muller. Muller was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Fermi. Half-time getting close now. Yamal and Roberto Fermi Rafinha It's run loose here Two added minutes has been indicated Very nicely done And that should get the job done 
And that'll be the last act of the first half. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why Please dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? And we're off again. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. He can get that clear, and he's there to retrieve it. There's a real tenacity about their defensive play, and it's up close and personal. Looking for the run. Dyer cuts out the pass. Muller. And it's Goretzka. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. There's no doubt it's a long way back, but they can at least give us something to believe the gap might be closed. Barcelona couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Kimmich. De Ligt. So we've reached the hour the mark. The attendance for this match was 71,649. Looking for the runner. Lewandowski, and that's gone behind for a goal kick. Dyer. Now Lima. Muller. And it's Lewandowski. Muller, Lima, Yamal, Lima. Nice interception, his positioning was spot on. And here's Lewandowski, Not the most accurate pass. 75 minutes played. And he's on his way! That is good strength. He's got plenty of space out wide here. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Oh, that's a key interception. Rafinha. Well, they can at least make a fight of it, even if it's just a goal. The lift it would give would be huge, no matter what the end result is. Tell, looking understandably energised after his goal. And they win it back again. Lewandowski. Fermin. Lewandowski is flag offside. <laughs> Uta Meccano. So that's it. It is all over. Barcelona perhaps ended up out of ideas and out of steam. Some warm applause and acknowledgement of the effort put in by the players, but that does not hide the overall disappointment. Any reflections Just on what you've seen, Jim? Barcelona lost their way after falling behind early. Their concentration was weakened and their character 